Hey guys, welcome back to the Fit Channel and welcome back to another mukbang with me. Guys, today, today we have Noodles and Company. Yes, Noodles and Company. I haven't eaten there in quite a while, so that's what I decided to do. And I'm going to tell you what I got. I got some Pad Thai here. And I got their Asian beef spicy noodles. I'm looking forward to that. And for dessert, I have, oh yeah, I had, had, had to get it. Looked pretty good. I never tried the Kit Kat duos. I got some Halo Top ice cream here. And you already know, as always, Diet Coke is on deck. Let's get started. How is your week? How have you been? What you been up to? I'm feeling pretty good, man. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. Got some good food here on deck. Let's give this Asian Pad Thai a try. <laughs> yeah, buddy. It's got eggs, pad thai noodles, um, chicken, onions, dude. Try this beef. I'm hungry too, man. It's been a long day. Um, as per usual, I trained legs this morning. Um, <laughs> that was a hard session, man. As you can see, the energy really isn't there. Legs is a hard day for me, but it's gotta be done. Because it's bodybuilding, not upper bodybuilding. Gotta have legs, man. <laughs> Gotta have legs. So that's what we did. Got a Diet Coke here. Dude. <laughs> Today is gonna be a good day. Now, normally I would go with some chopsticks, but not today. I'm hungry today. Um, this is my third meal and technically I'm behind. I should eat another meal after this, but things happen, man. But it's no excuses. You still have to get the calories in if you want to grow or you're going to stay small, man, that's, that's just the truth. Eat big or stay small, man. Now, a lot of people would say that's a lot of carbs. <laughs> hey man, it's, <laughs> it's the bulking season. It's time Time to get big, um, train as hard as possible, and we'll worry about taking some of that body fat off later, but for now, it's time to get big. And it's going pretty well. Um, I woke up this morning, I felt pretty good at 162 pounds. I started my bulk 
at 145 pounds. So it's going pretty good. Yeah. Oh, shout out to the girl in the gym today <laughs> that told me I had a nice ass. See, man, you got to train legs, man. You know, it's um, women like. Glutes too, man. Women like glutes too. You gotta train legs. Um, that session took about mm, about two and a half hours. We did front squats today, barbell front squats. Um, I pyramided from 135 and I stopped at 275. Um, and I actually got more reps at 275 than what I initially thought. So that means more gains, more gains. Oh, and I'm streaming this live on Facebook. Pretty good, man. I'm really looking forward to this, to eating this, but we got to get some, some quality meals in first, man. Quality first. But there will be Dessert. <laughs> I can promise you that there will be dessert. <laughs> Gotta have dessert. I had a real hard time trying to figure out what I wanted to eat. because I wanted everything because I'm greedy, but we settled for noodles. And so far it's, it's pretty good. I mean, definitely one of the more friendlier foods as far as health goes, friendly. <laughs> um, they don't use a bunch of like cheap grease like they use like some sort of sunflower oil or something like that comment below if you know what kind of oil that they're using i think it's sunflower oil though i think so Oh, and this is my first time ever having pad thai noodles. And I tell you what, I think I'm part Thai or something, man, because this feels natural. I don't think this is gonna be enough. I should have got more, man. I know I should have got more food. 
but I know I should have got more food, but I can definitely taste the spice. I guess it's like a spicy barbecue sauce that they use. There's beef in here. Looks like some cilantro, onions, lo mein, noodles. Dude. As per usual, I got the puppy dog watching. Hey man, what's up man? You wanna make some games? You wanna make some games? You go man. Hey man, I share family affair man. I wanna see the puppy dog make games. Just like I wanna make games. That's it. Greedy, man. <laughs> He's just greedy. This is so good. Mmm. I highly recommend this. Let me tell you exactly what it's called. Korean steak noodles. It is absolutely fabulous. If you have a noodles in your area, you need to go get this. Korean beef noodles are down. Absolutely fabulous, man. Absolutely fabulous. The pad thai noodles have like a, I don't know, like a sweet kind of sauce on it or something. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. But it's pretty good. Mmm. I'm guessing I was probably supposed to use that. And this also has little bits of peanuts in it. It's really good. Have any of you guys set New Year's resolutions and what was it? Like, leave a comment in the comment section below what your New Year's resolution was and 
have you got started on it. It was really nice tonight to get out and there was every restaurant that I went by was packed. Um, our governor opened the restaurants up on January the 11th and everyone is out supporting. That's pretty dope. The Pad Thai noodles are down. Both of those were absolutely fabulous. If you have a noodles and company in your area, I highly recommend the Asian Pad Thai and the steak noodles. Absolutely wow. I will definitely be going back there for sure. But now, it's time to get into some dessert. Bam, I got some Halo Top candy bar ice cream. I've had this flavor before. It's probably my favorite flavor from Halo Top. I saw this cool donut um, in the grocery store, so I had to get it. Like. They put some effort into it, and you know, I love donuts, so it was an easy sell for me, and I never had a Kit Kat Duo, so I'm looking forward to giving this a try. Let's get into dessert. First off, I love ice cream. Lately, I've been on a huge um, enlightened kick, but I still got a lot of love for Halo Top. So that's what I did today. Little Halo Top. Dude. Still pretty good. I still don't know how how they do it. Like how do you make something that's low fat taste so good? Like fat gives everything flavor. That's why a lot of the foods you eat are so high in calorie is because of the fat. Fat makes everything taste good. And this stuff is like low fat and it tastes like it's not. It's amazing. Now, at one time, I would say Halo Top is the GOAT. I'm not going to go that far anymore. It's pretty good. But as far as low fat ice cream, I got to go over to Enlighten, man. I think Enlighten is the new goat. But Halo Top is a definite, a definite number two. Definite number two. It was the first low fat ice cream I ever tried. And if you know when you're dieting, um, and you want something that tastes good, you have to find something that's life. And at the time, this was life. I still love it today. But you got to get into some of this donut. Like it's a, it's got a couple Hershey's sticking out of it. It's got a little bit of cream on top with a marshmallow and it's a chocolate cake donut. Let's do this. <laughs> Dude. And usually I'm not a huge fan of cake donuts, but dude, how do you even bite this thing? Like, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Dude. This is so good. Why not? Oh, yeah. Yep. I love donuts, man. I really do. Looks like we're going to have a new president sworn in in the next six or so days. So I'm wondering what changes are going to come. My father always told me, if you want to keep friends, there's two things that you don't ever talk about. <laughs> and that is politics and religion. I keep my political views to myself. I'll listen to what other people say, but my views, I keep them to myself because in this day and age, politics is a pretty touchy subject. This donut though. Mm. That was so good. We get into this Kit Kat duo. Give that a try. Two. Now, mint and chocolate with a crisp I'll be the judge of that Let's see what we're doing here Let's see what we're working with oh they even even made it look pretty huh they even made it look pretty It's pretty good, but it's not like magical. I was expecting something magical to happen, like maybe some sparks or sparkles or something to start like exploding. And I didn't get that out of this. I'm still gonna eat it because I like candy, but would I recommend it again? Probably not. Candy bar on candy bar. <laughs> what I should have did was got some more Pad Thai noodles. That was amazing.
Nah, we might as well finish it, man. You know, I would hate to see it go to waste. <laughs> nothing magical, man. No sparks. Nothing. Well, guys, that's going to be it for the food. Today, Noodles and Company was on point. I haven't eaten there in so long, and I forgot how good it really is. The Asian Pad Thai noodles had like this sweet flavor to them with the eggs and chicken and green onions. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Um, the Asian beef noodles or steak noodles were on point. That spicy barbecue sauce really, really did it. I will definitely be going back there to get me some more of that stuff pretty soon. Halo Top, you already know, is good. The Kit Kat Duo is okay. And that donut was one of the best donuts I've had in a very long time. So once again, I want to thank you for watching. You can follow me on Instagram at Harley Davidson or nothing. You can follow me on Twitter at FitLifeOver40. My podcast is available on Apple and Spotify. And the name of that podcast is FitLifeOver40. Once again, thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next video.